Hey guys, so today I want to take a look at iOS 7 on the iPhone 4 because people have been wondering a little bit um, how does it perform and stuff and uh, of course this is an early release also from Apple so of course it will um, get updated probably better speeds and stuff but then we shouldn't forget that the iPhone is getting old it uh, or the iPhone 4 it, it came out like 2010 and that's a three year old phone and now with technology um, a lot of things is changing pretty quick but this is the new UI if you haven't seen it before uh, really really uh, Apple have really really changed a lot of things uh, the first thing that you that's pretty um, th that you will probably notice pretty quick here is that the, all of the icons and everything is changed to more of like a cartoonish look if you would uh, if you would ask me uh, do I like it well I definitely do like like the color effect at first I was like do I really like this but then uh, when I started to think about it I was well okay I assume this is uh, okay uh, you can see here also at the bottom that the uh, just for this specific uh, uh, iOS 7 release, we don't have any cool background behind these four icons at the bottom. I'm really not sure why, uh, because it do look pretty good on the iPhone 5. Uh, one thing also that you can notice that's, that's pretty interesting here is that Apple uh, have removed now, so if you swipe to the left, you don't get any search option to search for different apps and stuff. Uh, now you just have to swipe down like that, and you can see that that's the animation that you do get, and uh, it, it's probably a better update. Uh, you can probably do that on all of the pages. Yes, you can, not just uh, uh, before. If you had a lot of pages, you had to go all uh, all the way to this side. So I assume that's a better uh, better way to do it. Uh, but you can see it's a little bit laggy there uh, because they do bring some new animations here and the uh, iPhone 4 doesn't have the best specs. Uh, you can also see here that the keyboard is a little bit different here. You still have that clicking sound, but the font and everything seems to uh, be changed. So when you search for something right now, you can see that you get this kind of list with applications. Still don't have any widget options here. Uh, of course, you don't have any widgets that you can have on this page. It's still the same. Uh, also, uh, what we can check out here is that the, the lock screen, as I showed you in the beginning, you can see the clock. You have a quick access to the camera. And all of the apps also, seem, the, the default apps seems to have been uh, updated. Uh, so you can see here that this, let's see, oops. Uh, so the, the camera app probably is a little bit better. Uh, with a square option, HDR, video mode, photo, and, and also the video mode, you just quickly swipe. And you can see that it's not the best speed at the moment, uh, but of course that probably will get updated. And then you can also see the new animations when you go in and out of apps. It's a little bit slow on the iPhone 4, of course, uh, because the phone is getting old, uh, uh, but it still runs, at least. iOS 7, that it runs uh, on this older device. So that's, that's something that is definitely pretty, pretty nice. Also, what we can see here is that on the lock screen, if you want to launch the phone, you don't have that swiping thing anymore at the bottom. You just have one swipe here to the left side, and then you quickly will launch the apps. Uh, you can also see here when I load up the screen like this, that you, you get kind of like a gradient or it doesn't load up fully immediately but it has a cool like fade away effect I'm pretty sure uh, and then of course also we do have some some finding some toggles here inside on the lock screen uh, toggles for uh, the quickly enable and disable stuff like uh, Wi-Fi airplane mode Bluetooth uh, sleep mode kind of screen irritation mode and then also a, a brightness slider here which is pretty nice if you play music with Spotify or the default music app then of course you'll be able to to uh, in a, uh, here change the, the sound uh, volume um, and then also play and pause change to the next track you also have some quick access here to some things at the bottom uh, like a flashlight uh, a compass actually the calculator and the camera so a quick little um, quick little cool thing over there finally some quick toggles and also now if we take a look here if we swipe down uh, you can see here that when we swipe down from the notification center here you can customize this a little bit you can see here that they focus a lot on having calendar here and then some stocks 
I'm not really sure why they always have the stocks over here. Uh, where, but focusing a lot here on the calendar, on what you should do today, you just one swipe down. Uh, you can probably also see all your notifications here and miss, miss stuff. Uh, I'm not really sure how notifications will look because I haven't got a notification on this phone right now. Uh, but that is definitely also a change. Also, in terms of multitasking, let's see here. If you open up some stuff. So multitasking is also a little bit different here. Let's see. There we go. So this is how the multitasking area now looks like. Instead of being at the bottom with these small icons, uh, this is how the multitasking area looks like. So uh, at the left page here, if you go far to the left, you will find all of your apps that you can quickly jump back to. Uh, but then uh, they made it a little bit different here is that we can see all of our open apps here and if we want to close an app we can qu quickly use a swipe up to remove it and i assume that, that that's a better update than than the earlier uh little thing that they did have going on there so that's definitely something that i do enjoy and i'll probably make separate videos uh, to be going over separate uh, separate different apps and updates that they made i mean as you see here in yes they call uh, call app they made some nice updates here and you can see also that the theme overall is more like black and white uh, but with a lot of colors uh, I would also love to hear your opinions down in the comment section down below what you think of this update uh, you can also see that Safari ha seems to be having an oh oh so I can quickly launch uh, that okay so if I swipe from the bottom I can quickly uh, get these quick toggles Wow, that is very, very nice. It's not just on the lock screen. Okay, I, I totally, totally understand. So uh, that is pretty sweet. So swipe down uh, for searching stuff. Uh, swipe up from the from the bottom and you will get some quick toggles. Uh, pretty, pretty sweet. You still have also Siri. Uh, I'm not sure if it works. Okay, yeah. You don't have that, of course, on the iPhone 4, I'm pretty sure, but it, it should be available. It should work perfectly with the iPhone 4S. And uh, we do have Apple's own Apple Maps here that they probably update a lot as well. Uh, what I do like also about the browser, which I'm probably gonna go over in a separate video, is that when we go back here, uh, you can see here Safari has made a very, very interesting update here with a very, very clean UI here with just one bar at the top. And I've been waiting for this to happen. So search for enter an address and you just quickly have a bar up there at the top. And then also the tab system seems to be very, very cool here with this like cover flow mode or something. Uh, that kind of reminds about the Mac, Mac OS, uh, Mac OS 10 experience. It also has been getting some new updates here. Uh, let's see here also if we can change and some stuff here. You can see here, this is how the settings area looks like. So pretty much the same as, as earlier, uh, but they have updated the icons and everything. You can do quick settings here in the notification center. Uh, the control center as well, if you want to have access to that uh, on the on the lock screen. Uh, the do not disturb mode, which still is here. Uh, the, some general settings here uh, for majority of things that you do want to change. And uh, if you go down brightness and wallpaper as well, uh, you can see I'm on full brightness at the moment. And I, right now, it doesn't seem like I can pick a wallpapers here uh, or that they have any cool uh, default ones. I'm not quite sure why they didn't have that because it did work perfectly uh, in my iPhone 5. Let's see here, you can see this is how it looks like when you connect to a network and connect it to my home network, of course. So um, I might have missed some stuff in this video uh, with this new update, but of course I'll be going over uh, the various different apps and the updates uh, of them. Uh, you can also see here when we go into the app here, yes, it's empty photos. And uh, Apple has been working a little bit more on bringing stuff out with the cloud, with like iCloud and stuff. So of course you will be able to sync all of your media and stuff easily across your Mac devices. Uh, you can also see the music app here pretty quick opening up. So to sum it up, I mean, it, it, it's definitely not as smooth here as on the iPhone 5. I mean, definitely slowish. It will probably become a little bit better in the future, but then we shouldn't forget that this is a very, very old device, the iPhone 4. Uh, really, 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 really old. And it's still, uh, you can run this latest update. It's pretty, pretty nice. Uh, but yeah, quickly look here. Let's see also uh, what happens when we hold in the power button. 
Okay, so this is the new UI uh, here, which looks pretty cool, or I'm not really sure. Yeah, maybe slightly power off or console. So um, what do you think about this update? Do you think it's an amazing update? Uh, do you want to update? It's probably gonna come out here in, in, a, in the upcoming months. And we'll be, I've been waiting for Apple to do something interesting uh, with the, uh, uh, with iOS and finally they're doing something uh, they're doing something and I think it's it definitely is a step forward that they're trying to do something new uh, I've been pretty bored uh, with iOS but now I think it looks a little bit cool again uh, because they're doing some updates and they're showing that uh, they, they still want to be uh, in, in in the top uh, the top uh, smartphones at the moment with the the most cool operating system as well so uh, yeah, quick little look here. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and hopefully until next time have a great day. If you did enjoy this video, if you want to see anything specific, please let me know about that and hopefully I can make a video about it. Peace.